right, guys, so this is Michigan Bass Session. It's a, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but we have a snow day today. So I got my tech warehouse order in and I decided to make a video. Anyways, let's get to it. Alright, so this, it's not a huge tech warehouse order. It's like 50, 60 bucks something. Just got some stuff I'm going to need for the tournament season and whatnot. And some little fun baits that I want to try. So, packaging. Alright, so there's the order. So first we've got the Grande Bass Swimming Rattlesnake. Swim baits. Take these out. This is the watermelon magic color. Uh, I just needed some new soft swim baits. Thought I'd give these a try. But you can see that good, but yeah, the plastic feels pretty good. I mean pretty feels like it'll hold together, it's durable, but also they catch fish, so they have like a garlic scent, just like the gambler garlic scent. It smells very similar. Then to rig with those, I got the diamond heads, the double diamond head or whatever they're called. So it's like got a screw, just a screw lock. Those are half ounce. I then picked up some bullet weights. These are like the cheap lead ones. Just whatever terminal tackle that I need. Uh, then we got Ultra Vibe Speed Worms. I haven't tried these out yet, but uh, I know a lot of people use these, and I've heard great recommendations for them, so I decided I'd give these a try. Um, just to, you know, just to burn it over the grass or whatever. This is green pumpkin. Comes with a 15 pack for like four bucks or whatever, so that's pretty good. Put those in my confidence box just for another worm type bait. And I got two baby pack, two baby pack crawls. This is sun perch color. The, you know, I haven't tried the baby pack of crawls yet. I've only had the full size. But these are actually really, I'm probably going to rig these with a 3i. These are really nice size. They're actually hollow throughout like the whole thing. Unlike with the regular pack of crawl where the tail isn't hollow either. Um, but those are really nice color. The sun perch and then... I try to get a more natural color, so this is black red shad that kind of imitates the darker crawfish that we have in Michigan. So, there's those. Then, I got Zoom Tiny Flukes Baby Bass Color for, you know, drop shot, um, finesse type tactics. I've actually never had these. I didn't, I didn't expect them to be this small, but that'll work great on a drop shot. Let's see how tiny those are. But, you know, I'm sure if bass will bite them, hopefully. I won't be getting, like, crappie or blue on them, because that would probably make me angry at a tournament. But, um, then I've got Rick Clun, Lucky Strike, Jerk Bait. This is, oh, what color is this? Purple Green Apple color. It looks good. I mean, I might switch out the hooks. That's about it. it. Looks just like a Mega Bass or any other really expensive company in the road cheap. Then lastly, the last one for the soft baits, I got Habit Pit Boss, my favorite bait. You know, you can do so much, so versatile. Catch so many fish on it. This is the uh, Perfection Green Flat color. So it's green on that side and then orange on the back side. This is a really nice color. I love it. So that's it for soft baits. Now for oh, I missed these. Uh, Gankatsu hooks at three out and two out. I didn't know what I was gonna throw with the baby pack of crawls. I didn't know the size, so I just decided to get three out and two out and try them. Might go with two out, might go three out. I don't know yet. But anyways, so for swim baits, I got the five inch Savage Gear. It's a little bit smaller than I thought it'd be, but that's good. Because here in Michigan we don't have that, we don't fish too many swim baits. But anyways, this is the Savage Gear um, six or five inch trout bait. This is the hitch color. Um, 
the 3D trial. It actually, it looks pretty cool. The packaging is really good. But I don't know if I'm really going to use that too much. I don't use some baits that much because, again, I have a Michigan in the bass. Aren't that huge. But then we got this Revolution Frog. It's a smaller bodied frog, but it was like on sale for like $2.50 or $3 on the daily sale or whatever. And it's usually like 5 or 6 bucks. So I just decided to get one of these. It's like my eighth frog right now, so I don't really need any more. But I don't really have any smaller frogs, so. But I don't know if you see how tiny that is, but it's a it's a small little frog. So and I, all my frogs are full size, everything right now. So maybe that'll work good on those one and two pound bass that just aren't feeling hitting the big one. But, so that's the Revolution frog. From Revolution Strike. Freshwater baits. Then we've got Tackle Warehouse sticker. And then something I've really been excited about. You know, I haven't really used scent that much, but I got the Smelly Jelly scent. I haven't used scent really at all. And I've been, like last year is really the first time I ever noticed it where I'd be flip a bait right in front of a bass's face and they just wouldn't touch it. Oh man, you can smell this stuff outside of the package and everything. It's strong scent. This is the uh, Bass Feast. A lot of people recommended this. So, this is the little one ounce bottle. Oh, that is pungent. Whew. But I'm sure the bass will love it. Man, that is some good stuff. Then also I got the Bass Pookie coffee scent because I love coffee scent. Strike Kick coffee scent and everything. So yeah, this is the Bass Pookie scent. A little Pookie means a lot of confidence. Um, let's take this off. It's got stickers on it, but smell this. Mm. I don't know, maybe cause it's because it was frozen from the outside weather, but that, it's not releasing that much scent. Oh yeah, it's nice and frozen. That's probably why. But, I mean, it smells like coffee, so. Thanks for watching, and tight lines.